Now, you might not think this deck is anything special, but I want to reassure you that it's as special as my mother made me think I was when I was a child. Because Goldengo really starts getting interesting with Dunsparce thrown into the mix. So we've already looked at Dunsparce before with that runaway draw, being able to draw three cards and shuffle it back into the deck. It's pretty much a no-brainer for the Goldengo, as it's had Worker rotate, not rotating out, but with Path rotating out, it needs some just different draw support. And with the Dunsparce's draw, combined with Goldengo's coin bonus, you can start playing a little more interesting supporter cards that don't just draw you cards, such as Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking, which can just absolutely crack this deck sometimes, Silene, which allows you to recover your Ace Specs, let's say, and once supporter card that's a bit of a personal touch for me, it's going to be Jack. Being able to find your dance passes, effectively turning it into a draw six. Now, a lot of people like to play Goldengo with the maximum belt, but me, I very much prefer the Prime Capture. With its ability to take one at KOs, being able to just gust up what you want, I think that can go a very long way in a Goldengo deck. And that is the basic premise. So how about we get some games and see if that dance pass can bring this boy to life. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PPCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your deck using code FDW for 5% off, TCG Bulk, where you can buy and sell your bulk cards and whatnot, but you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below, but for now, let's get going. Our hand, unfortunately, though, isn't that great, and I'm seeing so much Charizard on the ladder, it's actually insulting. I don't go well into Charizard. Um, Arceus? I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, uh, Charizard is one I'm still trying to learn a little bit with playing Goldengo. I played, I played a lot of Goldengo on stream uh, the other day, and I've explored so, so many lists. And it's really interesting, actually, if you think about it. But ultimately, uh, this is not the thing. Actually, I'll go for a Pokestop. Let's go. Should be able to hit something. Okay, just discard everything, why don't you? Continuing coin toss just give me 10 heads please i mean 11 no nope, it's it's a tail it's great stuff not the start you want to see huh but we'll, we'll, we'll see where we go from here so hoping so much for a buddy poffin it just turns the dance pass into a massive draw but uh no so they attach to the arceus and i'm gonna see him evolution that's hilarious that is kind of funny I can't lie. i'm so annoyed i've lost two very good supporter cards just off of the poker stop when i play like five in the deck it's ridiculous the luck is not on my side already typical stuff man absolutely typical let's go for a coin bonus here then see if we get anything that's actually worthwhile. Can I get an item card, please? I swear to God, if it's support cards, I'm scooping. I'm, uh, okay. Bye-bye. See you later. I'm only joking, all right? It's not that bad. I'm only discarding everything I need. This isn't even the deck's fault. It's just pure bad luck. <laughs> There's nothing else, nothing else I can put to it. If wait, they go for a poke star. Oh, yeah, but they get their rare candy. Well, they don't even need rare candy, actually. So they, they actually got low-key punished as well. They just get an energy on Charmeleon. And they pass. Okay, so sure thing. We're both kind of bricking a little bit. I'll, I'll take it. Let's go for an earthen vessel here. At least we can get some energy going. And from here, I'm gonna go for another poke stop. And uh, do I just first go for the bonus? I'll go. I'll go for the bonus first. It's a bit bit less destructive, and that actually low key paid off. So, <laughs> alright, let's get let's get a gimme goal. And do we finally? G no, we just we just keep discarding things that aren't item cards. It's just stupid. Actually, I think I'm gonna go Greninja. Um, because I just need to keep drawing here. Look, literally, I have literally four support cards left in a deck. I've just discarded all of my- Look at all these items. All of these item cards, bro. Just so many. But no, you keep hitting these bad boys. You poker stop, you fraud. Poker, po poker, poker fraud, poker face. Ah, uh, let's just, let's just move. All right, getting energy down. And there's the puffin, finally. And we can just get ourselves two dance bars. So we can draw better next turn. That's good, at least. And I think I have a KO on this Arceus. So we, we've picked up the pace. So I'm happy with that, at least. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Now, I am getting a KO here where I might actually be able to... Yeah, I can attach the Greninja. So Greninja is a bit more difficult in this deck because we actually don't play the Palkia. I, I've played other builds with Palkia and I do think I prefer the Palkia, but you have to cut the Dunsparce to make room. I want this to be more about the Dunsparce, but there is a way around. As long as you attach to a Greninja for a turn where you can, if you get yourself the EXP share in this deck and attach it to Greninja, then if the Goldengo goes down and the EXP share stays, then you just need to attach a Water Energy, which is very easy for the recovery, and you do have a Moonlight Shuriken. So so Moonlight Shuriken is possible. It's just more difficult. They combust you. Okay, I can't even complain. I feel bad. I feel really bad, especially because I'm going to BM here. I mean, I, I just want to show you the power of the Dunsparce for the first game. Like, it, it is just, look at this. See, there's there's all the things. I could even Cypher Maniac. Yeah, they scooped, of course. <laughs> Guess who had PDCGL on mute again? Yeah. This guy. What's also great about the, the Dunsparce, and also in this case the Scyther, is you have a lot of free retreaters, a lot of pivots. 
which is really nice that Goldengo initially didn't actually have. It doesn't really have any major benefit, obviously, because you're not like, you know, needing to attach to the bench specifically, but it's still not a bad thing. Also, we need to get a Manaphy down because there is obviously the Greninja risk. Um, we got to be careful of that. This is going to be a very interesting one. We hit the Chen Powerful Weakness, but at the same time, they can Oko us very easily. It's a much more even matchup than you think, even though we hit weakness. That said, the scissor is going to be massive for us, I think. In fact, if they overdo it here, if they just get one more ability down, we can just scissor <laughs> uh, and take a KO. Obviously not next turn, because it'll be our first turn. But now our scissor can Oko this, so that that's funky. So I've got to do everything I can to protect this Scyther. Bit of a shame we started it, but I uh, actually, no, it's not that bad, is it? But they poke stop losing a bit barrel and a grenade. Oh my god, they got hit by that. That's roughers, mate. Big old roughers, that is. So what do we get? We get a Puffin. That's what I'm talking about. Fimch can go double dance pass, actually. Oh, don't, no, no, I'll go single dance pass. One go on Gimme Ghoul. Yeah, let's go for that. Do still need to get Manaphy down, but I'm going to get a Greninja. I have Ultra Ball if it's desperate, but I'm hoping to find another Poffin and then we could really start moving. So let's see. Let's see if the Pokestop gives us any love. And see, that's that's kind of more in line with what I wanted to see of Pokestop normally. So in this case, I'm just going to Ultra Ball these lot away and just make sure the Manaphy is down and that problem is resolved. So what I want to do is uh, do I retreat to the ninja here? I mean, it's a bit awkward. I actually think I do, which is no. Um, this is legitimately an awkward situation, isn't it? I need to keep the cypher alive. We don't have rods. So given the Manaphy means they'll eventually get a good KO on me. So the Greninja and also I might actually instead need to go Dengo next turn. So I want to keep both attacking options available. I want to keep the passing available. Now, in case they don't take a KO because they could just go for a hail blade. I'm going to throw an energy on the ninja and then I'm going to end my turn. Let's see what they pull off here. Shivery chill. Getting two energy there. They poker stop. Get rid of an Arita and a gem power. Usually this deck plays only two. So that's a bit of a hefty hit, man. Earth and Vessel coming in. Get rid of some energy. I don't think they're going to have the Arita right now. Oh my god, watch out for the hands. I forgot about hands, you know. Uh, uh, maybe they do. The only reason why is because their play style right now, uh, it, the, the sequencing indicates that they probably don't have it. But there's the back. So maybe they do. Energy on the gem power. And no, I was right. Okay, yeah. Their, their play just shouted, I don't have it. Usually when someone has it, they do it like first thing. <laughs> just as a reaction or anything. Right, okay. So the religious stays alive. That's very good. If I can just get my sis... Boom. But I'm telling you... The deck is ridiculous, bro. The jack is so good. Right, let's throw the dance pass down. And I, I'm just going to jack it instantly, right? Just get Scizor. Um, probably just get another dance pass, actually. Because I already have two gold dango anyway. Then we evolve. We run away. Yeah, we run away draw now. Yeah, let's run away draw now. And if we're getting out to... No, but well, actually, that's still not terrible, all things considered. Evolving two gold dango. Just going to go for the coin bonus for one here. Because we, we do have the KO with, with Scizor. There you go. And I can just retreat now. And in fact, I actually haven't yet gotten... I can I can lose a... I think I can lose this. Yeah, uh, sure thing. I've yet to actually go for a conceal card. So let's go for that too. I always forget to conceal cards because it never highlights, man. It's just so bugged. But it is what it is. Let's make that move. Could poker stop here? And I'm kind of tempted to. Should we... I, I think we're going to be well ahead here. I think we should just, just try it. Oh, 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 never punished. We did lose the Cypher. But that is just two dance bars down. So we can just draw like crazy again. Plus the one at KO. Oh, wow. Okay, the Sizzle... Coming in absolutely clutch for this matchup. Huge, huge plays there. Yeah, that's massive. And there's another dance pass. We don't need it. But we're going to draw like crazy next turn. Not even having a Goldengo in the active. Or playing a draw supporter, mind you. Yeah, this is disgusting. Uh, they do finally get their back to Calibar. So we're not out of the dirt yet. But benching another champ out. The, the thing is, right, they're now forced, right, to KO the Sizzle. This is what I like in this matchup. If they go for this, the, the Goldengo, I just return my Sizzle and KO that again. So... They are in a situation of having to KO and take one prize, where I'm again going to respond by taking two. That's why you always need some sort of single prize attacker in Goldengo just to offset the prize. This is that example here. Right, they go for a retrieval though. They recover some energy there. They do need three, so they will have that most likely. I think they recovered three there. Another, another quick good thing for the sizzle is uh, Iron Hands can't even KO it, baby. <laughs> well, apart from in the other uh, Iron Hands deck. But you know, I mean, I'll talk about that. It's a whole different matchup, my guy. Right, there's the KO, but it's just, yeah, it's not looking good, Brad. So I need to get a Gimme Ghoul down, and I have no doubts that I won't be able to do that. So let's go for a Dance Pass here. I think an Ultra Ball away a Dance Pass and Poker Stop. Just get another one. Could have got a Gimme Ghoul, maybe, but I think I just want to draw like crazy here. Don't really want to Iono, so I'm just going to coin bonus first. There you go. That's There it is. Lovely. And then we 
we just draw like a madman? Run away, draw. <laughs> free energy, free energy, free cards there. There's actually a, a, a case to be made that if I get a retreat, actually, no, maybe I should go for the, the backs. No, I don't think so. I think if I take out the Chen Power, I just win off the price trade regardless, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I don't think the Chen Power plays a single prize, like a attacker that can KO Goldengo. So I still think it's fine. And look, this, this is why the Poffin's so good. Another runaway draw. Oh, I've already got Dunsparce. So I think I'll save the Poffin. Instead, just go for a Dunsparce bench and an S ball. And you just rinse and repeat. That is the power we're looking at here. That's how crazy this is. Right, let's find energy here. That's the XP shares made for that Greninja. We're doing 200. It's not enough. But of course, we can just do this. So I think I'll get rid of an Iono. And I should just get rid of an energy. That's fine. It does recover me enough to take a KO here. Thanks to weakness. I'm going to need to get rid of three energy. So I'll go uh, one water and two metal energy. 300 damage. Off your pot, mate. Chen Pao is just, this is just bad for them. <laughs> Makes up for yesterday's video, if you watched it, by the way, where Chen Pao dominated me. Our turn to get a return, you know? Well, they poke a stop and they get a <laughs> this card of backs, but they do get rare candy. I mean, bro, what, what can you do? They get ultra though, so maybe they could pull something off. Yeah, they scoop. <laughs> There's nothing they could do. Two scoops on the trot, baby. Let's go. Uh-oh. It looks like we're playing stall. And I have beaten stall before with this deck, actually. So there is ways to go. Oh, wait. No, it's not stall. Okay, it's Burnett, but it just has a tempting trap in there somewhere. What's funny is I had a Turo in this deck because I like being able to read use Goldengos with Turo, but I cut it, and uh, so I'm going to need it the most, I think. <laughs> right, let me check my deck. I'm going to pop in quickly, um, and probably go for these two. I have the Prime Cap just for, for Switch. I, I need to just get rid of the, the more while as soon as possible. Well, to be fair, the fact that I can attack it, it's okay, so that's fine. So I can just do this this turn. don't think I'll jack. I think I'm just going to go for a, a Rain Splash. Eventually, I'll KO the more while. So there's nothing they can actually trap up in my deck that can't attack. So the more while trap, if I play carefully, isn't actually going to do anything. You know, they trap up a Greninja, let's say, which is technically the worst case scenario. Then I just build up towards a Moonlight Shuriken and then take a KO. So uh, the tempting track actually doesn't scare me. So I'm not too bothered by that, if I'm if I'm honest with you. So that's, I think, I, I'm, I'm tempted to Ultra Ball here and just wait another turn. Get rid of two energy and then I could double the Dunsparce. Or I could just use one to Dunsparce now. Um, yeah, I guess there's no... I shouldn't I shouldn't be too hasty. I'm going to do double Dunsparce anyway. So if I get a, a baby Dunsparce, then I can do that for sure. Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay, let's just go for a runaway draw here. I do get the baby ninja, which I could bench and attach an energy to. To well, Actually, no, they've got Manaphy down now, so it doesn't even matter really. So... I can just throw an energy on the gold dango and just go for another rain splash. They're obviously just buying time at this point. Obviously, they're not planning to actually trap me through the game. Oh, gotta be careful though. If they get an energy on the Burnett now, they can go for some crazy stuff. No, they're just going to keep trapping me. I kind of don't want to overplay here. I want to be careful now. So I think I again, well, can they, with a Poltergeist, they can KO. They can KO Goldengo, but there's no sign of a Poltergeist just yet. So I, I, I'll draw, but as soon as, I, as soon as I see a sign of a Poltergeist coming through, I'm going to, you know, start taking action. Also, let's just go for a double done sparse here so we can keep drawing if we do need to. I'm just going for another rain splash. Seems like they might be dead drawing because otherwise, why are they just tempting trap every time without doing anything? Like, they haven't even touched an energy yet. I, I guess they're just like dead drawing a bit. Oh, that's Iono. Again, not really going to do anything on our side. Uh, <laughs> except for just make us dead draw fully. There's the Poffin. Let's really see what this deck is now. If I see Pidgeot, maybe it's a control deck. So I have a question to ask. If... Okay, no. no. Oh, I see. I see. It's the... It's the uh, okay. Okay. It's the, the Aspartha. We actually should run pretty well into this deck, if I'm honest with you. As long as we kind of navigate the sh uh, the, the Burnett. That's kind of what, what I'm thinking of, which eventually we'll have to do. Maybe they just retreat now. I, may, I would maybe go for one more Tempting Trap, just trying to establish a board a bit more, because there's really no reason to retreat here. They are going to. Yeah, that's an interesting an interesting choice and that makes me curious here do I just... Oh, wait, wait. How did they do 120 damage? Wait, how did... What? I'm confused. How did they... Oh, the defending Pokemon takes 90 more damage. That's actually really cool. The more while allowed it to do more... That's kind of sweet. That's really cool. Hey, who'd have thought? Not me. Not me. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot use this uh, this earthen vessel because we are under item lock. And that's kind of a bad, bad, bad thing for us. But I do have Pokestop that could maybe help at some point. I'm not going to use it now because what I was going to do is find me item cards that I can't even play. So just coming in here and doing that's quite nice. Um, the Poltergeist won't KO me right now. Oh, wait, no, this counts as a trainer. The Poltergeist will KO me. But if they Poltergeist, then it turns on my ability, sorry, my item cards, and I can I can just play again. So we'll see. Um, yeah, as I said, I just need to kind of draw into raw energy now, basically. That's kind of what I have to do to get out of this. And uh, we, we are hitting them a little bit. So let's, let's coin bonus here. Let's see if we get any more luck. Another gold dengo. No, a boss, though. A boss goes a long, long way. In fact, maybe I boss up a Sparfra. They have one energy in hand. Like, what's the odds? Yeah, no, let's, let's, let's boss up a Sparfra. 
Afra. I can't even swing at it actually. That's funny because <laughs> it's got the the poker stop. Uh, not a poker stop. Sorry, it's got the it's got the uh, the dazzling gaze. That's really funny. But I'm just gonna enter. Now I'm kind of annoyed that I put poker stop down because actually gives them potential outs. But if they don't have retreat here, then I can just blow up this Aspara and just kind of. Of course they have retreat. When does a deck never get what it needs off the top of the deck apart from when I play it? Typical stuff, isn't it? Absolutely typical. Well, I guess we'll just keep coin bonusing until we hit something like uh, the down sparse to eventually take a one hit KO. Uh, Cypher, nope, not great, but I can bench it for a sizzle. Coin bonus. There's one, the down sparse. Retrieval, useless. Yeah, Burnett just slows us down so much, but we'll go again and see what we get. And it's just more, just more item cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny, really. It is quite funny. Do I retreat to Scyther here? No, 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 no. Uh, Sizzle's only doing like 110, but that's still damage. So I'm going to end turn here, and eventually I will just draw, right? I only need free energy. So now I should have kept that energy, but, you know, it is what it is. Everlasting Darkness again. Just trying to find our way out of this this this, this item lock. That's really what we're trying to do. Another Gold Dango. Nope. Rod. Nope. Again, just another turn end there. Do Poker Stop, though. Losing a lot. That, that was a punishing Poker Stop for sure. Are they now thinking? I need to start poltergeisting soon. Uh, again, eventually I'm going to get there, but it's just a race, right? It's either, and it's also a bit of a, okay, I've, I've got all my gold dangos. That's lovely, but I need some bloody items. Uh, man. Oh, Silene, hello. Silene can actually get me two energy cards. That's really cool. That actually can help. Oh, I can also recover Jack. Um, okay, let's Silene see if we get. And it's a tails and a heads. I'm actually more tempted to go for Jack here because that has much more value than just an energy because then I can Jack and just go for two to Dunsparce. So I'm just going to pass up. And you see, now if they go for a Poltergeist, again, they take the two prizes, but can come up with Sizzle, hopefully do some stuff. That said, if they do evolve that Natu into a Zartu, then my Sizzle will one at KO Burnett. I think they are going to go for it. Oh no. Oh, they're going for the other Burnett. That recovers a supporter card, so maybe get an Iono or you probably want Morty, right? Oh, but then again, like if you, if you get Morty, you can't use it. So if you go Iono, then you reset my hand, but you draw me straight into Jack. So, I wonder what they decided. We'll see. It's an Iono. Okay. I'm actually not against that. Not against it at all. And if they Poltergeist, I still have a Gimme Gold down now. So, that's quite nice. There's a Flittle down and an Everlasting Darkness. Okay. Honestly, not that bad. Just need to find the energy raw now. Um, okay. Let's go for a Dunsparce. Gonna Jack here and get Dunsparce and Goldengo. Maybe I should have held that, actually. I don't know. But we'll do this. We'll evolve into... Is. Do I evolve, actually? That's a free retreat that I might need. Okay, let's let, let's go for a runaway draw here first. Oh, wow. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> All right, we're escaping the item lock, boys. That's really good. That's really good. Really, really good. So, we now go here. I'll just put an EXP share here. Maybe there's, there's, like, no harm, right? Yeah, there's, like, no harm of an EXP share on that. I was thinking of doing it on Greninja, but the mana feed just makes it pointless. Let's go for a coin bonus. Just draw now, and, yeah, this is where the deck starts coming alive. You can't hold me back, me boy. You can it do it. There's a coin bonus. Another done sparse. Shame we can't get another one bench because the item lock, but I'm a happy geezer because we're taking out Burnett finally. And patience paid off. Two prizes going our way then. No Burnett next turn. So then we could just start playing our item cards and really just going aggressive. And what's funny is putting it... Oh no, maybe I should have put the XP share on Galdengo. Yeah. Yeah, I've realized that now because actually it would allow me to attack the Goldengo, meaning I actually have to attack the Sizzle next turn if they come up with the Asparfra. But then again, they need to get enough energy on the Asparfra to take a KO. So the Asparfra is doing minus 30 thanks to resistance, by the way. So that means they need one more energy in order to do it. They need to hit 110. So it's 3, 6, 9, 1 energy, 12. Oh, no, okay. They're going for McGimmy Girl. Bro, if I can get a gust and take out this Asparfra, it's GG. <laughs> it's just, there's just no way you're coming back from it. They retreat to Manaphy. Oh, now this just, now I should have saved my XP share, but then hindsight, right? Yeah, this is just horrible. Oh my God, they're going to hate me for this, man. All right, let's. Mm, nest ball. Gonna get Dance Pass down. Could go for Greninja still. Could always manually attach my way there, but I'd rather not. I'd rather get a Gust right now. That's the beauty. Uh, so we always coin bonus first. Yeah, coin bonus. Do I try and thin? No. All these cards are actually quite decent apart from the Poker Stop, so I don't want to Ultra Ball anything. In fact, I could Ultra Ball Iono, but what am I getting? I think I... Coin bonus first. Yeah, uh, the coin bonus fleet makes more sense. See, now we can ultra ball some stuff, but I don't need to just yet. Let's go for a... I'll go for one more coin bonus. And then I think I'll go for a runaway draw, because if I draw into prime capture, then I want to gust up and be able to draw again. I oh, know, but I would need to gust into this one, so it doesn't actually matter. Okay, let's go for coin bonus again. All right, there's another gold dango. Why am I doing this without playing a vessel? Like, bro, fin out your deck, you donut. Oh, it's only one energy. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Yeah, that was my bad. That was my bad. But we just run away, draw him. Draw some more cards. Okay, nothing fantastic. So I think I just have to take... This 
this out, unfortunately. Could I Iono? But that seems like a bad idea. So I think I just go for the the, the, the one KO here with the retrieval. That's fine for me. And what's great now, actually, if they don't KO the bench gold Dango and they manage to KO my active one, then I can actually just take out a Sparfra with the benched one unless they have a headquarters. So maybe holding on to a pokey stop would be good here. Oh, there's a Puffin. So we could definitely get those dance bars back after using them. And you see what I mean? The dance bars just... Mwah. I'm seeing a lot of decks play like two, two line dance bars or maybe a one, one line of dance bars. And I'm like, bro, just... Just full send it, man. It honestly just gives you such massive hands. And actually, if you can recycle them well enough, it does give you some sort of out to a late game Iono where oh, wait, you always have your dunce pass in deck. So you are likely to draw into them in late game Ionos. And on top of that, if you use your resources correctly, maybe reserve your jacks and stuff like that then you just have a lot better chances of drawing out of late game Ionos, which usually is quite punishing for a Goddango. Well, if Ninja in play helps a lot as well, there's that too. But they have gone into the Espafra now. Going to Painful Spoons, moving it to the Scizor, interestingly enough. And my guy, it, unfortunately, it's just, it ain't it. <laughs> it's not enough. It's not enough to, 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 to finish the job. Let's go into our Dunsparce. How many retrievals I've got? Literally all of them, so we are fine. Can we just take a second to appreciate how many cards we're drawing here? We have two, three, four... Let me have set. We have 10 cards being drawn by just Pokemon. Yeah, disgusting. I'm basically seeing my whole deck right now. <laughs> so let's get started. A coin bonus. Draw two there. Retrieval. Retrieval. Yeah. And so long as I constantly draw with these dance bars and get two uh, dance bars down afterwards, then it's impossible for me to deck out, basically. It is, uh, if I'm correct. There is there is a sequence that actually makes it genuinely impossible. So we're going to ultra ball, get rid of Iono, and I think counter catch is now off the cards. Get another dance bars down, like so. Go for superior energy retrieval. Get rid of gold Dang go. And I can actually lose another dance bars because I already have two. But I think I'll go for a Ultra Ball instead and just recover my energy and literally it's such smooth sailing right now. Oh, I do need one more energy actually. Oh, I completely forgot I could coin bonus. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to coin bonus and just get some more discard fodder. All right, let's coin bonus. Forgot about these two on the bench, man. Typical stuff. Just getting carried away, aren't I? So an energy retrieval away, Ultra Ball and a Vessel, I think. Yeah, let's do that and just get these two energy back. And from there, I attach. You've got the attachment. And then just uh, take a big old nook. Yeah, yeah let's go. My mate, Spafra. One more prize to take, which means with a simple prize, ca Prime Capture and a Scizor, we win. Puffin and Heavy Ball, but I am feeling good, my boys. Let's see what they do. They promote the Flittle. They Clairvoyant Sense, but at this rate, it's so pointless. Funnily enough, they could attack with Alakazam, and they haven't identified that, because Alakazam does 20 damage for each card in your opponent's hand, so it would just do massive damage. But no, nope, they're going to try and bring up Goldengo. I think they're going to try and item lock me here, actually. Oh, they could item lock me, actually. That would be a nuisance. I think I have a boss. Yeah, I have a boss in deck, so... Oh, wait, do I only have one boss? Oh, wait, they could item lock me. We might be... Oh, actually, uh, we could be in trouble here. Please don't tell me I got carried away. Please don't tell me I got carried away. All right, they passed, but uh, I, I'm scared. I'm scared now. I'm a little bit more... Oh, that's GG. <laughs> <laughs> Cypher Maniac breaking the deck. That's what I want to see. So we go for the Cypher. Literally just get a Prime Capture and a Superior Energy Retrieval, right? That does it? Yes, because I get two of the Goldengo as well to get the recovery. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, like this. Go for the Coin Bonus, like so. Go for another Coin Bonus and another Coin Bonus. Didn't even need to do that one, actually. It's a bit BME, but you know what? Oh, I don't care. Then we're going to bring up the one thing that tried stopping us at the start, the more while. Bring up this bad boy and yeah, they're going to scoop. <laughs> lovely stuff. And as I guaranteed in yesterday's video, today's deck is going to be good. I did say it was something you probably wouldn't expect. I'm sure a lot of you didn't expect Goldengo, unless you watch my Twitch streams, in which you probably would expect it. But I am super in love with Goldengo. I really love the dance bars plays. It's really cool. Um, if I was to suggest any other text, then maybe try and fit in a Turo. I just burped. Turo can help a lot when going into like stall and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it is really nice. It's really interesting to see Goldengo played with the dance bars because you draw gigantic antic hands and it's just so so easy to pull off those big KOs it really doesn't go a long way so uh, yeah try it out for yourself you honestly won't be disappointed it's all about the sequencing obviously but yeah if you get it right mate it just destroys things but with that said we're gonna leave it there take care and peace and a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel if you want to become a member yourself click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like but we'll leave it there thank you very much for the support guys see you later